Hey guys, Jerome here, back with the Match Day Vlogs. Um, thank you so much for the support that we had, especially for the AFF Suzuki Cup Vlogs. You know, the views might not have been extravagant, but, you know, those that actually did watch it, you know, left very, very valuable feedback and uh, gave, you know, a lot of uh, love to it and I really fully appreciate it and uh, it's making me want to do more and hopefully, you know, more of you coming in to the SG Football Podcast YouTube page can, of course, enjoy the rest of the content that's... Uh, below and we are of course making more content coming up in the following season anyway this match day vlog will consist of four games so it's going to be a bit of a long one i'm not too sure whether to you know keep all the the footage from all the games and then put it there or maybe split it up i'm still trying to, to work out a bit of a schedule with myself you know this is um kind of like experience as it as i go along so um hopefully if you guys can leave feedback for me i'll, I'll take it on board and, and see what we can do with that uh, but anyway, four games to look forward to in this one. We have the Community Shield between Albrecht Nagata and Lion City Sailors. We have the explosive match between Tanjo Paga United and Albrecht Nagata a week after the uh, Community Shield. And then we have uh, Ballastia Khalsa versus Tampanese Rovers. And finally, Lion City Sailors back in action versus Haukang. So I'm really looking forward to, to doing all these match day vlogs again for you guys. It's a... Uh, it's really something that I really wanted to do for a while, but never really got to it, you know, until the AFF Suzuki Cup. And uh, thanks to you guys for actually watching the the vlog and also, you know, giving your support. So that's why I'm trying to do as much as I possibly can for this season as well. But don't worry, fan cams are still going to be around. You're still going to have more content from us. And uh, we will be planning some content, more exciting content in the future. You know, some maybe real life football stuff, you never know. But uh, we're, we're working on that at this current moment. So... Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's go straight to the game. See ya. First half done here. Um, one one right now. Talanari Lee with the penalty in the 14th minute, and Kim Shin Wook scoring the goal on the 41st minute after a good cross into Jelly. What do you make of the first half overall? Uh, it's, it's, I have to say the one one score line is against the run of play. Albrex had most of the fair share of the, the good football at the very least. Yeah. I think on the first half, LCS was defending a bit too deep, yeah. a bit narrow as well. Albrex always seemed to have a spare man available whenever they had the ball, yeah. especially down the flanks. So it, it, they kind of improved defensively, LCS, in the, in the second half of the first half, or second part of the first half rather. Yeah. Uh, but still, the equaliser was... Kind of gets around play. Yeah. Is it more of LCS not playing up to their standard, or is it Elbrex actually pushing them to a to like a better? I think it's somewhat that, but also Elbrex. I think it's a more tight knit yeah. team. You can see that you know they've been playing together for a long time. Uh, they still like they still have a lot of gelling together. They've been done. They're not even playing together. You know, I'm hoping for a bit more improvement in the second half. Well, you know, it's still a tough thing, but, but I still think, you know, Albrecht will edge it at the end. Honestly, I actually think also maybe Albrecht to, to edge it at the end. Yeah. I mean, I don't like to predict, but, you know, for all we know that could happen because they've been playing well. LCS have yet to really gel together. I think it will take a little while longer for them to gel, but uh, this uh, Albrecht side definitely, definitely doing great things. And hey, we second in the match, scored by number nine, Kim Shin What a goal that was. Uh, my goodness, the acrobatics in a tall guy like that, kind of... Peter Crouch-esque kind of scissor kick, bicycle kick goal and uh, it's 2-1, 88 minutes, looks like the game is all over. And it's 2-1 to the Lion City Sailors, Kim shin with a double, um, Diego Lopez coming on, really making a difference, providing the cross for that goal and um, Anu as well coming on at half time really proves a very big difference, you know, is able to give that midfield a lot more stability and um, didn't see much of Albrecht's pressure in the second half, though they did have a couple of chances with uh, Hassan Sanji made a couple of brilliant saves, so all in all, good victory for Lion City Sailors, but you got to say they do have to improve um, leading into the ACL campaign because you know that first half really wasn't um, really wasn't great from their perspective. But Alvarex really looked good, and uh, but the second half they tired out for sure. So um, all to play for this season is gonna start. It's gonna be amazing. First title of the season goes to Lion City Sailors. Let's see where the season takes us, baby. Woo! First match day of the season here at Jurong East Stadium. Albrecht Nagata versus Tanjong Paga. Um, excited for this game. It's going to be a good one. Um, of course, we did see Albrecht losing the Community Shield game to Lion City Sailors. But for most of the first half, I thought they were the better side. Uh, just at the second half, you know, a bit of tactical changes here and there. 
Albrecht's how they bounce back from this will be waiting to see. Masahiro Sugita is definitely one to look out for. The number seven, very good player, very skillful. So, someone very exciting to see. And of course, Tadanari Lee uh, for Albrecht. Or Tantra Park United, they come into this with quite a spate of injuries. I was talking to the Jaguar Force before coming here and they were saying that, you know, there are quite a number of injuries and uh, a few players that have not been able to be registered, like Dan Bennett. Here at the stadium, can't wait for it to start. First match day of the season, let's go. So it looks like I got a welcoming committee to greet me to the stadium. <laughs> As usual, the Swan Army giving a very great welcome to me. Guys, I, you haven't seen the lineup yet, but yeah. I mean, you have uh, Sugita who's starting today, who looked very promising during the Charity yes, Shield yes. game. Uh, Tadanari Lee, of course, has to be up front for you guys. What are you thinking about the game today? For me, uh, I think Tadanari best is behind the striker, not the striker. Because ah. at his age, uh, he isn't that potent, that uh, energetic as he used to be. We so, can, yeah. so of course, uh, I spoke to Kazu after the Charity Shield game and he's hopeful that uh, Kodai, ah. someone who actually just passed the Yoyo test yesterday, uh, will be able to uh, play a shishu part in today's game. Uh. So nice. hopefully we can see Tadanari behind the striker position to actually uh, string some pass. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, you got some friends here. Okay, so yeah, yeah. won't disturb you guys. I gotta get back to work. I mean, we're only one minute in, and already the first goal has been scored. Just 10 minutes on the clock right here. It's now 2 0. Ryo Nishijiguchi with the second goal of the day. I mean, that's absolutely amazing. Alberex just falling asleep at the back. Another great ball by Mirko Sugic. And Ryo Nishiguchi with the finish. I mean, what a start for Tanjo Paga. I mean, I don't think anybody could have seen this coming for sure. I mean, the ominous O's from the crowd just came because there's been lightning going on and the lightning warning system still hasn't gone off yet. Hasn't gone off yet, right? Oh boy. Alright guys, here we depend of course from the final whistle here. Dude, depend what the first half that was. I mean, within the first few minutes alone, there were two great goals by Rio. What do you make of the first half so far? Uh, a shock. Uh, I mean, I came here expecting uh, Tanjung Paga to be on the receiving end of a trashing. I mean, clearly you saw on the bench, they only named uh, four substitutes, yeah. uh, two of which were goal ke uh, goalkeepers. So you, you, from that, you can see that, you know, they're not at full strength at all for whatever reasons. And wow, what a half, you know, I think Tanjung Pala controlled the half fairly well. I don't think Albrecht had much of a, a good chance to, to get a goal. Uh, I'm not sure how the second half will pan out, but for the first half, what a shock. I'm still reeling from the yeah. shock, I would say. Yeah. I think we were all in the crowd just like wondering what the hell was going on because like within like the first 30 seconds, bam, Rio with the first goal. And then suddenly the second goal went in. I mean, yeah, sorry, I, I tell you what, you know, yeah. um, we've had a lot of talk of uh, Tarinari Lee, uh, Shin Wook and uh, Leicester and all these other foreigners. Uh, not much said about Mirko Sujic, but what a half he had. Uh, two assists, uh, both for Ryo Nishiguchi. And I thought he controlled the half, you know, mm. not just attacking wise, you know, where he provided two assists with very good uh, interplay with uh, the other players, but defensively, he tracked back a lot, he recovered a lot of possession. Uh, what a signing he's, he's looking like even in the first game of the season. Yeah, that's the thing, that midfield pivot of Rishuto and Sugic as well, but the vision from uh, Sugic, especially for the first two goals, absolutely amazing. And second half is definitely going to be great. But what do you make of the local signings, uh, the local players, Rashidi and Shukri? They've actually looked into it the first half. You know, they were going after every ball, making sure they get to it first. Yeah, not just them. I think even uh, Fatula. I mean, he's playing an unfamiliar centre back role uh, today. Oh, yeah. uh, I was surprised by that. He's playing right smack in the middle of the uh, back five. I would say uh, he's shown calmness. Uh, he's shown maturity in his gameplay. We saw a lot of that from central midfield last season not easy to come into the first game of the season against a team like Albrex and play in se at centre-back. He's done well and like you said, all these locals, uh, even at the left wing-back position, Akari, I think he's done superbly yeah. in, the, in this game so far. So, a lot of standout individual performances but where it's working for them is they're working as a collective as well. Mm. Uh, interesting to see whether they can keep up uh, for the whole game because like I said, you know, their subs bench uh, is not filled. Uh, whether they can get enough players on to replace those who are tired is, is going to be uh, interesting to see. I still think Albrex have got uh, much more in the locker to, to provide for the second half and it'll be interesting to see whether Tanjung Paga hold on to the lead. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Anyway guys, second half is going to come up next. Fantastic, fantastic work. Anyway, catch up Deepan as well, the final whistle. So many brilliant content as well coming out from them and uh, I'll leave their socials in the description below. As you fantastic, Deepan, great talking to you. 89 minutes, still 2-0 and uh, heading to an ominous defeat here for Albrex. But what a performance by Tanjung Paga. All over the pitch, they have been first to everything. I mean, 
just hear the fans going. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Alright guys, right outside Topayo Stadium for Ballester Castle's game versus Tampanese Rovers today. It's gonna to be a great game. Ballester Castle have been through an amazing transformation over the last couple of months. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how they work out. Koraba Kondo, Riria Taniguchi, and Shohei Yoshino all starts all starting up top for uh, Ballester Kalsa. In terms of Tampanese Rovers, they do have a young side that's going out there. Very interesting to see. Um, Ong Yu Eun playing, Ryan San is out in, in defense. Uh, but of course, you have the stalwarts like Kyoga Nakamura. You also have Boris Kapitovic, big bad Boris, right up top. So, fantasy, I got him in my team. So, I'm just hoping to, I'm just hoping to God that he scores at least. Because after yesterday, with my defenders and everything not scoring any points and Emrick Ong on the bench, I definitely need to catch up. Oh, uh, there I got Ruben with me, of course. Uh, he's gonna be taking photos, and Dara's also on the inside. So, uh, it's going to be a really good game and I am so excited. Thanks so for making the, supporting the Ballester boys for today. Dude, what do you think about the score today? What do you think? Ballester 2-0. Ballester 2-0? Alright, we're getting predictions already. Later, hopefully we can get it for fan camps. Uh, he's always wanted to be on the fan camps. I think it'll be a good game because, you know, you have all three of the, the Japanese. Yeah, all three are starting together as well. So I think it'll be a great one. Boris Kavinovich with the first goal for Tampines Rovers. Um, about 10 minutes before half time. A good finish on the edge of the box. Just took it like a clinical finisher, showed it right into that, right into the post and then into the back of the net. Because Ballester honestly have been on the back foot for quite a while, and especially in the last 20 minutes, you know, um, Tampines have been racking up the pressure on them. And uh, it's finally told 1 0, Boris Kavinovich. Great goal and points for my FPL team. Yes. Well, second goal of the game coming on the edge of halftime. That's what Ballester Khalsa do not want. 2 0 now to Tampanese and well deserved lead for them, I got to say, because they have been on. And as you can hear, the, the Tampanese fans singing, they have been pressurizing the Ballester defense, especially making mistakes, and they definitely deserve this 2 0 lead for sure. It's like that, for just about a minute down in the second half, Jumbo Oshino has scored his first goal of the season. Uh, pretty slight Tampanese defending, pretty much the story of their last season. Um, just to let Jumbo in and score his goal. So, long way to go. Can Ballester pull up a comeback? Well, Tamlin's defensive woes kick them in the butt again. It's now 2-2. 57 minutes gone. Uh, not a good look right now for Tamlin's. A very good first half, but second half. Bruno Ancevic with the goal. Right now, I've got to say, Ballester have had the better the second half. Uh, and that early goal in the second half definitely, definitely gave them a little confidence. Last game of the weekend, Lion City Sailors versus Haogang United here at the Jalan Besar Stadium. A little bit behind me over there as you can see, just walking past my favourite uh, alleyway towards the stadium with you can see the little mural of uh, Jalan Besar Stadium at the back. But today, big game. Lion City Sailors versus Haogang United. Lineups already out. Four debutants for the Haogang side. Pedro starting up top for them. And uh, for Lion City Sailors, you have Kim Jin Wook, of course, up top for them today. With Anu also starting in midfield, making his debut for uh, the Lion City Sailors in the Singapore Premier League. Just stick with us on the SG Football Podcast. So much more action to be behold. <laughs> Goal from Pedro. First time finish right there, left hand corner. A beautiful layoff, and Hassan Sani had no chance. He took it so quickly. And uh, 1 0 right here to Haga United. The surprise shot lead for Haga, I gotta say. That's what he does. That's what he does. Kim Shin Wook with the header. So easy right there. Shout out to the great free kick in. Kim! 
he made the first half so far. Uh, I was very surprised with how how Gang took the game to LCS right from the start. Uh, you have to give them credit yeah, that's for the right, commitment yeah. as well to playing out from the back, right? And that, that takes a lot of drilling uh, on the training ground, you know, to do something like that. You have the confidence to yeah. do something like that and the calmness to do it. For sure, and I think it's it's all about Kaishu in the central defense with yeah. Nasim yeah. Ahmad. I think Nasim on his debut today has been absolutely fantastic, you know. But you gotta give it to Kaishu. Kaishu really exudes that calmness when he's playing out on the back. Yeah, and yeah. I gotta give it a Kiki Cry check, you know. In the center of midfield, he has looked as if he's played there, like, played at Hong for his whole life. Yeah. He made his performance. Yeah, I think having him there, it, it makes uh, it makes it a lot more uh, feasible what Hao Kang is trying to do. Mm. He's like the connector between the defense and the attack. Yeah. And the way that that thing going through him, he's able to switch the ball between the, the, the flanks in very fast with yeah. what they're trying to do from the onset. And I think that that's sort of like, you know, that put uh, LTS on the back foot. Yeah, but that back foot, that goal there by Pedro, his first goal in the league. What, do you mean, what a goal we feel. Watching all the way, we knew it was going to go in from the moment left his foot, right? The way he took it, like treading through the eye of the field. So right? good, yeah. so good. Hassan Sani had absolutely no chance. But then after that, Kim Shin moved with the goal. I mean, it had to come up because they were both fighting on pressure. Sometimes it's not easy to score such an early goal. But uh, what do you think make of the overall Taylor's performance right now? Um, it's still a bit patchy. Yeah. I think there's still some fine tuning that still needs to be done. They've been a lot better with the crosses from open play, but uh, still leaves a lot to be desired from uh, you know, the difficult situation. Yeah. Especially when you have, you have the height. Uh, Especially of Pedro and Kim yeah, right. yeah, yeah. exactly. What are you expecting from the second half from both teams? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't expect Hao Gang to be able to hold up this sort of intensity all the way to the second half. I, I foresee LCS stepping it up a bit more, but I don't know. It could be LCS by the one, you know, could one, be, one carry goal. Yeah. Oh, good pass back. Boom. Scoring the second goal for the Lions City Sailors, number 12, Ikram Rifki. Oh, that's it. Diego, that's it. Messi ended his first assist of the season. Fighting Diego and also his face. How long had a player down, but at the end of the day, Life City Sailors had the right to play. And it's 3 1 to Life City Sailors. Gotta love the How Gang rules also. Trying to think about different uh, online shopping options. <laughs> Oh, he's running through. Oh, good strike, good save again by Hassan Sani. I gotta say, Pedro has been a bright spot for for Hauka United for sure. Looks a very good signing. That'd be someone who can get them the goals this year. They were always thinking about how they're gonna replace Doi. I think Pedro is gonna be a good signing for them this year. Clemens definitely not gonna be happy about that. And there goes the final whistle. Sailors three. Alright, that's the end of the match day vlogs. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it, it can be a little bit draggy because of four different games, but uh, hopefully, you know, over the next uh, few months, I will improve on the vlog content and maybe cut it down a little bit to the, the most important points and stuff like that that maybe you guys want to see. So do leave your comments, leave your feedbacks, leave a like if you want to, and don't forget to drop a subscribe to the channel. You know, it really shows us that you guys are really enjoying the content and also, you know, um, I'll be looking forward to making more for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know, it's it's an uh, absolute pleasure to do these vlogs again. And uh, don't forget, SG Football Podcast, subscribe to our socials and everything else. Everything will be in the description below. And, uh, you know, also enjoy some of the podcasts that we also listen to from the local scene. You know, you have the Final Whistle, Rated r &R, the Premier Football Podcast that we featured over in the vlogs also. So do follow them. Um, great people to, to work with and always great to work with like-minded individuals. Anyway, Hope you enjoyed this one. More coming up for you guys. Remember, any feedback, comments, or anything else, do let me know so that I can improve on the content. And then, you know, hopefully more people will start to watch and realize that our local game does have something to support. And, you know, at, as what I mentioned in my fan cams, you know, at times, if we don't support our local boys, then who will? Just a little food for thought. I'll see you guys soon.